Hello YouTube, this is Jigoli from That's It Never, and welcome to the second part of my uh, Redstone 3D printer tutorial. So in the last episode, we built this little um, memory section controller here and got that spinning. So if you can watch that, you can go watch it. It just switches like it's supposed to. So now what we're going to make is we're going to make the 3x3 three three buttons, or the 9 buttons that controls... Um, what's actually going to be printed out. So that's going to be 12 blocks away from here. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 12. So here, the first button's going to be. Uh, what should we make that? Let's make that brown, actually. So we're going to have a brown button. This is going to be our reset display, a reset section. So, now we're going to have some buttons over here. I think I'm going to make this cyan. So, I'm going to put this in a 3x3 three three grid with one space in between. And then we're going to put... Let me actually just get that. We're going to get a button and put one on each of these cyan wool, or each of these pieces. And then we're going to put a torch to the left of all of the buttons, like so. Oops. And we just want to extend this a tiny bit for the other buttons that are going to be added here later. So now what we can do is we need to add some kind of controller for the back here. So when I click this button, this torch is going to turn off and it's going to make an output for that location. So how this is going to work, uh, I wasn't the one who designed this. I don't know who actually did, but whoever did needs a medal because it's really clever redstone placement. So, what we're going to make is we're going to make some, let me just build over here, we're going to make some small R's and normal latches, which look like this. And this is what it's going consist, to consist of. So, we're going to add an R's and latch. Uh, let me just take a look. We want it to be like so. And we want the redstone torch to be here. Another one here. And we want this one to be on in the beginning. So when the button's not pressed, that's going to be on. So we do like that. And we want... Then we just place that in there, because that's the other part of the thing. So we want to add a little uh, redstone repeater there, and another repeater there. So as you can see, now this torch is off, because we haven't selected that part. So if I click the button, the torch turns on. So let me just reset that real quick. So we're going to keep doing that. For the other parts of this thing. So add torch there, torch there, there, and there. I'm gonna add some repeaters, repeaters, and some more repeaters. It's very important that you place the repeaters the correct way. In front of these blocks, you won't have them pointing towards it. So you can't have this repeater placed that way, then it's gonna fail. So one way you can check that is the first repeater over here needs to be facing that way and then it just changes whenever you go a block forward so it changes direction and the same thing here here's just the opposite so when it's pointing that way over here it needs to point the opposite way over here and then it just flips as well okay so that was that first we, well now we got that memory working but we also want to be able to reset it by pressing this button or whenever we want Whenever we've saved something to our memory, which is memory towers, which are going to be over here. So we want to hook up some kind of um, reset. And the way we're going to reset it, is we just click two of these, is we need to give power somehow to this block. If we get power to that block, it's going to reset the latch. You can see this one's not activated, but this one is. So if I add power there, it's going to reset. So that is what we want to do. Let's just flip it again. So, how we're going to do that is we're going to get some wiring down below. So, let me just... I'm just going to use single player commands to dig this out, hopefully successfully. Hopefully successful. So, over there. See, two blocks away. So, one, two. Go down a little bit. So air. Looks very nice. So, 
now we got that cleared out, what we want to do is we want to have some things going up there. I think it's actually a little bit too low, so let me just fix that. We don't want it to be too low, so let me just fix that up real quick. I think you can just do like so. There we go. So our reset was brown, so we're going to keep the brown color scheme. So we want something to be able to go up and give power here. We also want to remember that we need power going out from these. So, uh, wait a minute, that's kind of fail. That's not what we want to do. That goes out. Like so, Ooh, yeah, let's just put that up after we have the reset working. So we want some reset go up here and get power. So the most logical thing is to just have a torch go up like this for the beginning and see how it fits. So if we do like so, the power is off at the moment, and that is good because we're not resetting it right now. So this is going to work for the first layer. It's going to have to be changed whenever we go up to a new layer. It has to be done a separate way. But for the first one here, now we're able to reset no problem. So I'm going to try and see if we can get this to use as few repeaters as possible to so do like that is not going to interfere so we can take this out the back and this is our output from the RS null latches so you can see right now those two are activated and we can tell over here by these torches these two are on don't look at these up here this is what we're talking about so these two are off or these two are on this one's off that's what we have in the output as well uh, we need to hook up actually hook up this reset button so, if we just do that real quick, we're just going to have it run over like this. Boom. So, if we click this reset button here, which I have not placed yet, fail. Place the reset button. If I click this now, it turn off. So, I can turn these two on like that. I click the button, they turn off. Awesome. So, we know that's working. So, now I want to create this second layer. And you, you really need to build this in layers. You can't build it all at a time because you can see how cramped it is around here. You can't work on that. You need to build it layer by layer. So we're going to do the exact same thing up here. And this is really the beauty of the design, that it can be compact into something this small and is not going to interfere with itself. That's really the beauty of this design. So just placing all of the torches and repeaters. There we go. So now the R's null latch part of it is done. So now we're going to extend this back a little bit. Just going to do like that for now. So as yes, you can see, if we do like this now... It's actually going to be on when it gets up here. That's not what we want. So what we're going to have to do is going to have to change up the repeaters a little bit. We need to put an extra repeater here. Because we're going to put a torch there. Then we can do like so. And then it's going to be good when we put the um, block up here. Then it will give power when... We want it to give power. So doing like this, now it's going to work. Now we can actually reset it. So let me just build this backwards and do the same thing. We add repeat, some redstone, repeaters, repeaters, and we're just going to add one more repeater. We're going to try and keep it the same delay. So the same amount of delays before it gets to the end of there. So we can just test it out. this out now. Let's click these two buttons and the middle button down here. Test those out. See that that one's on, that one's on, that one's on. Click the reset. Boom. They all turn off. So as we can tell, that works beautifully. What you can do, though, if you want to be reset the exactly the same time, is you can add uh, delays down here at the bottom. So between these two here, there are two torches, which both have, if you look at repeaters, that's, that's one tick, and each torch is one tick. So we need to do like this, add two ticks to the delays, so we can actually do that down here, one, two, one, two. They should, in theory, have the same delay. 
So now all of these are going to turn off at the same time. Not quite. Those up there turn off too fast. You, you can fiddle around with that if you want to. Getting the delays right. But it, it really doesn't matter. So let's get the last layer built up here. Again, we're going to copy exactly the same thing as we have right down below. There's no reason to make stuff more complicated than need to be. So add the torches like this, yes. We're add the blocks, torches, and we got some Peters. You can also tell, by the way, you need to put the tor the repeaters that the repeaters need to be facing away from a torch and towards a block. So you see, this one's facing away from a torch and towards a block. That's away from the torch towards a block. Um, this one's just towards a block. But if you look at it, there's a torch here, so kind of facing away from the torch. Yeah, you you get the picture. So we're gonna do the same. Add some blocks back here. As you can start to see a pattern evolve around this. So as you can see, we actually need to do this again in order for it to have, or to work the way we want it to. Because we want this to be off whenever we're not pressing the reset, which is what it is right now. So add some repeaters. Get the delay to zero, or one tick, I guess. Repeat, and there we go. So now, our output for the button layout here is complete. Let's try and put it in a cross. Or kind of a X kind of shape. So if you look at the torches here, it has kind of an X. We can go and look at the output, see if it's the same. Yes, we have an X shape. So let's test the reset. Click the button. There. Turns off. And turns up back there as well. So now we're going to do... Uh, well, one more thing, thing, but before we do that, I just gotta be right back. I need to fix up something real quick about the recording software. So be right back. Sorry about that. Just a minor hiccup. So what we want to do now is we want to get the output here into a straight line. Right now it's in three towers, and instead we want it to be out like this. So each line represents one part of this thing here. So we get at that. Those lines nine blocks away. So let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here. Just gonna add a few. We can fine tune that. But this is where we want them to be. So uh, to make it the easiest, we're gonna have we're gonna take to me the easiest and the wiring we're gonna do later. We're gonna take these down here or these top, the top row over onto these three that's going to be over here. The middle one's just going to go straight ahead. So that will actually go right into these. And then we're going to have three more over here for the bottom one. So this thing, we want to we want to hook up to that over there. So let's just take it out. So that would be over here yes so let's take it down oh uh, yeah I forgot if you're wondering what this texture pack is it's the um, the disco texture pack thing I forgot to change before recording but I can just do that right now video texture default there we go. So that's going to look a little more familiar to people who do not know of that texture pack. But it's just a much more simple texture pack. You can just search for OCD pack or something on Google. You can find it easily. So let's hook up all this. So you can see right now we're going to need to add a delay here to get these down there. So we can do like so. We're going to add a delay here, or a repeater, on all of them. 
just so it look it looks nice. So let's hook this thing up to this over here. Stick it over there and start taking it down. This is also very cramped stuff that we have going on here. So these we won't just want to take straight ahead and hook right up to this. Actually, we might want to take them up instead back here because we also want to hook those up there up to what we have over here. So let's do that. Hook up this here. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'm actually getting confused. Again, I'm s sorry for this. This is a very big creation, so it's a bit hard to remember where everything is actually supposed to be. So I was confused as to that was actually supposed to go over there. But as you can see, it is. So we're going to hook it up over there. Let's go back. This so we want to hook up to that one. So if we take one forward, we can take it out. So, hook it straight up. Let's just take all of them in sequence. Might as well. Take this one. Now I'm also going to add one delay to all of these. Again, I want to try and keep it at the same delay. Just for the heck of it. It just it just feels nice. So get the last over here. And again, doing this and hooking up this way is gonna make it easier for us to get the memory to work the way that we want it to. So yep, there we go. That should be that done. We now have our memory section controller built. We have our row or piece I guess controller here ready we can just test it out again this time I'm gonna make a act I like a plus sign so the torches it's a plus so we go over here you can see this is the um, output that we're going to get it's almost like a binary number of some sorts but this is gonna be right what we need to create our memory which I think is gonna be for the next episode that's going to be a little more complicated since it's going to be in big towers and just go into the actual 3D printer we're going to be making. So this is what we've created right now. And we could, we'll probably be nice to add some of these signs just so you know where each of these lines is actually coming from. So this one over here would be coming from the top left and so on and so forth. But what we're going to do in the next episode, we're going to add this down thing down here below. We're going to hook it up to each of the memory towers, each of the nine towers represents one of these buttons. So, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next episode of the tutorial, where we'll hopefully be going further in terms of finishing this big 3D printer here in my Redstone Tutorials world. And if you're wondering when this map is going to be released again with the new and up with the Redstone uh, printer included. That's going to be when the actual tutorial is done. So when I'm done creating this entire 3D printer here, then I'm going to add the... Then I'm going to get a new download link for the save file, so you can download it. And take a look if something went wrong. Maybe confused a little bit. So, thank you for watching, and take care.